Hello everyone, I am Mageshwari, Assistant Professor, Department of BSc Information Technology at Dr. SNS Rajalishmi College of Arts and Science. Now I am going to explain my lecture video topic about dynamic routing. Uh, the first of all, routing is providing a path for the packets inside a network. In order to travel over the network, each and every packet should need a separate router uh, for traveling. Dynamic routing it is sometimes called as adaptive routing. It is more complex than static routing because it creates more possible routes to send packets across a network uh, for, uh, for, uh, time, for the need of time and time dependencies and packet, uh, cons uh, considering packets, it, it can assemble a separate uh, routing in order to transmit a packet over the network. It provides a lot of advantages. The advantages of routing dynamic routing algorithm as follows. Since each and every routing should can follow an algorithm, the dynamic routing by implementing dynamic routing algorithm, it has a lot of advantages over the network. The first one, it is easy to configure over the network. Before implementing algorithm, it is easy uh, in order to implement that algorithm inside a network. If a link goes down, this technique can choose a better router dynamically. Uh, in sudden, in, if, uh, in sudden cases, um, any link may fall, uh, any link may be damaged due to some unconditional uh, reasons, unavoidable reasons. The, this dynamic routing algorithm helps to uh, find some alternative path over the network. It has the ability to load balance between multiple links. It can transmit a unique number of and a unique size of packets over the network. There are several working conditions available inside the dynamic routing protocols. The first one is in dynamic routing, the routing protocol must be installed on every router in internetwork and then starting manually to enter the first hop of the routing table or one or router with routing information and then routing protocol takes over and dynamically builds the routing tables for each router. The routers exchange their routing information so that if the network is reconfigured or it goes down, the routing tables of each router are modified accordingly. Hosts on a network need only be configured so that their default gateway address matches the IP address of the local router interface. Dynamic routers are simpler to administer than static routers, but they are sometimes less secure. If the network is reconfigured or the router go, goes down, it takes time for this time information to propagate between various routers on the network. Routing Protocol Fundamentals Dynamic routing involves the use of routing protocols that exchange routing information between routing devices. The routing protocols perform the following functions. It discovers remote networks and best path Calculation to the remote networks adapting the routing table since the routing table contains all the uh, all the information about the packets and the uh, available routings and the busy routings etc. Recalculating a new best path in case of the failure of the current best path. If we need to um, consider a new path for traveling uh, for redirecting that uh, particular message, we need to refer the routing table. Types of routing protocols. The dynamic routing protocols fall into one of two categories. Interior gateway protocols, IGs, and exterior gateway protocols, EGPs. The interior gateway protocols can be further categorized into distance vector protocols and link state protocols based on their operations. A router using a distance vector protocol uh, routing protocol, it is an unaware of network topology. Since uh, we have a lot of network topologies, uh, so it doesn't mind about the what kind of network topology we are using suddenly, currently. It knows only about its directly connected networks and remote networks it can reach via its neighbors. Then second one is link state protocol. It is more complex compared to the previous type. Routers using them 
are aware of the network topology so we need to know before we are installing this type of network protocol we have to know the awareness of network topology thank you